Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to manage Microsoft Edge using group policy. So let's assume you work in an enterprise environment or you work in a small or big um, company and you have been told to actually make sure that users who use Microsoft Edge are not able to actually change their home page or they should have a specific browser that when they open that, when they open Microsoft Edge, that browser, the, that should be their standard home page. And they should not be able to modify some of the settings in Microsoft Edge. So by doing this, you can actually use group policy to actually manage the Microsoft Edge from A to Z. But to actually uh, manage Microsoft Edge using group policy, because if I go to, let me just go to my group policy here, and I try to, let me just click on edit, this policy I click on this policy administrative template here we can see we don't have any means to actually manage Microsoft Edge despite the fact that I've already installed Microsoft Edge on this Windows 10 computer so if I go back let me just um, close let me just minimize this so to actually um, use the Microsoft Edge policy you need to download the uh, the, the policy from the website of Microsoft. So I'm going to leave this link below on this video so you can actually download the file from the um, download site from my, of Microsoft. So what we need to do to actually download the file because you can see right now to download this uh, file is actually gray out. So I need to choose the appropriate version of Microsoft Edge which is the stable and current supported version. The build is going to be the latest build. Here you can see we have the different version of build. So I'm going to choose the latest one for this test and I'm the platform I'm going to choose a Windows 64 bit environment you can as well choose if you're using 32 bit or you're using a Mac OS so I'm going to choose the 64 bit and you can see we can now get the policy file but I've already downloaded the file here let me just show you I downloaded the file here to the Microsoft policy template and we're actually interested in the Windows not the Mac so what we actually interested is the ADMS file. So you can see we have the ADMS file. Here we have two files as well, the MS Edge and the MS Edge update. So this is one you can use it to manage the, um, the home page and manage the Microsoft Edge. And this you can use, actually use it. You can actually use group policy to actually update Microsoft Edge as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go to my C drive, to my policy definition file. Uh, let me go to C drive, Windows, I'm just go to size full. And here I have my domain, my policies, and my policies definition. So what I need to do is, first of all, I need to copy this file, this file, and paste it here. Continue. And then secondly, I will need to go to choose the appropriate language, which is the English US, and I copy this as well copy and then go to my the English and US if you don't have this folder you can as well create it and put paste click continue so right now I'm going to minimize this as well so if I go to my group policy let me create a new group policy I'm going I'm going to link this policy to actually to to the users um, um organization unit so which means that when a user who belongs to the non-admin Try logged into a, to a computer to a Windows 10 computer. The policy is going to apply to that user. So the user is going to see that his um, Edge homepage will be actually as, um, will be different, and he will not have the opportunity to actually change that home homepage as well. So let me just create a new policy here. Create GPU and let me link it there. I'm going to call this policy um, Microsoft Edge policy. Click OK. Already exist. Okay, let me just create. Let me just create Microsoft Edge. Let me just create Microsoft Edge policy. Let me just click OK. So if I right now, right now I'm going to right click this policy. Right click this policy. Click Edit. Here you can see we have the computer configuration and we have this user's configuration. So because this policy is going to be applied to the user's configuration, so I'm going to focus only on the user's configuration. So here, let's click on policies and click on administrative template. 
and see let me just make this bigger and expand this a little bit here you can see we have right now we have the microsoft edge and we have the micro, microsoft edge default settings so which says the users can override so if i use these settings the users will have the opportunity to actually override these settings settings but i don't want the users to over, override the settings i just want to use a standard the um the microsoft edge policy which means the user will not have the opportunity to override this but let's configure the home page of the user so when the users log on to the to, to his to his or her computer let's configure what the user is going to see first of all it says set the new tab page as a home page which we're going to just enable and set the new tab page as a home page so when the user click on a new tab on a, on a new tab it's going to be the home page so let's configure the home page url the home page url i'm going to use um cnn.com click OK so I'm not, I'm not going to set a logo for it right now hide the default top site I'm not going to do that let's configure the new tab page URL I'm just going to put as well as go to google.cnn.com and click OK so let's set the new tab quick links I'm not going to configure that configure the Microsoft Edge new tab experience action to take on startup so when the computer startup let's open the list of URL Click OK. Start site to open when the browser starts. So I'm going to just so when the browser starts, let me just open .cnn.com and click OK. Apply. OK. And then let's show the home page for the user so the user can click on the home page. So right now I have configured this policy, which is going to be a user's policy. So let's see, we have the Microsoft Edge, um, the Microsoft Edge policy, which is actually being applied to the non-admin user. So if I go to my computer, I can see that the non-admin, we have some users there. I also have the user called Thomas Johnson. So if I go to my computer, and here is my Windows 10 computer with a Microsoft Edge installed on it. So let me just go to the Start menu and tell the command prompt to actually enforce the policy I just configure to this computer GP update force and let's wait for the policies to be applied and you can see the user policy has been applied been completed successfully so when I open this Microsoft Edge you can see that the home page is CNN and CNN.com so if I go to the settings and try to change the home page settings, let me see if I can do that. On startup, you can see that Thomas does not have the opportunity to actually change these settings. And here also we have, you can see if I go to the new tab page, it has been actually gray out. Thomas cannot change the new tab page as well. So that's actually how easy it is for you to manage and configure the Microsoft Edge policy. So if you want every users to actually have this policy, you can as well apply um, this policy to your computer organization unit. So what you actually need to just do right now, the, the, what you need to do is to actually go, if you have computers here, like you're seeing, I would just need to actually modify this policy. So you need to configure the policy under the um, computer configuration. If I go to policies, administrative templates, and here you can see we have the Microsoft Edge as well. So if you want the computer to actually have this policy and not the user, you can as well configure it to, you can as well use the Microsoft Edge. So we also have some other options which you can as well configure for this policy. We have like the HTTP authentication, the extension, the default search provider. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to create another video to show you how to actually exempt. If, for example, you have some, because I actually did this for my company and you have users or some users who are telling you, yeah, please, I don't want, I want, I don't want um, the default homepage, which you, are, which you actually set to be my homepage. I want to choose. So they have to go to my director and explain to my director, complain to him. So now we decide to create an exception, exception policy, exception um, security group. So we need to make sure that, so when the user try to log on, so the policy does not apply to that user. So I'm going to create a different video for that. 
Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. I hope you've learned a lot from this video. Please, if you have any comments, just don't forget to leave the comment below and I will reply to you as quick as possible. My name is Kelvin Johnson and please don't forget to give me a thumb up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT related video. So thank you for taking your time to watch this video. Goodbye and see you next time.